Turkey nil, Wales 2. Personally, I thought Turkey were going to be the dark horses of this tournament. But unfortunately, back-to-back -back defeats against Italy and now Wales means that they need a big win on match day 3 and hope that they become one of the four best third place ranked team in the competition. Now, the game. Wales deserved winners. Deserved winners in the end. By far the better team. They looked hungrier. They played better. They had more attacking edge. And honestly, I cannot believe Wales did not take the lead a lot earlier than they did in that game. First, Ramsey had two clear-cut chances. The first one, brilliant save. The second one, he flew it over the bar. And I expected a lot, a whole lot better composure from Ramsey. And at that point in the game, I thought, oh no, this is going to be one of those games where Wills live to regret their missed, missed opportunities. But fortunately for them, Turkey didn't turn up. Turkey didn't turn up in this game. And Ramsey took a chance at long last. He scored the goal that opened the scoring. And after that, Wales just seemed in total control. They seemed like they, they knew that they were going to win this game. Turkey had a little period of dominance uh, early in the second half. Where you thought maybe, maybe, just maybe they could create something here. And they could get a goal. And a golden chance fell to Burke Yilmaz. And I cannot believe how high he skied that. He should have he should have done a whole lot better with that chance, but you can you can probably forgive him because the manner in which he came in he was sliding in and sometimes we we've all had those moments when we're on the pitch where sometimes those just go skyward and you know it's just it's just unfortunate. Now, Wales had a penalty. They had a penalty and they had the. The, that golden chance to make it 2-0 and make Yilmaz pay for his miss but Gareth Bale what in God's world were you doing with that penalty that was such a lazy run up right such a lazy run up and I cannot believe that the manner in which Bale took that penalty I look I know penalties are hit and miss kind of game but sometimes you've got to look like you want to take the penalty Bale didn't look like he wanted to take that penalty. He looked very uncomfortable from the word go. And the run up so slow, so lazy, and the the finish even even way worse. But luckily enough, you know, Turkey didn't make Wells pay for that missed penalty. Uh, and then Wells scored in stoppage time to make it 2-0 and seal the three points. And most probably seal their place in the in the round of 16. Now, one player that stood out to, uh, for me in this game today was Dan James. Dan James, ever since he joined Manchester United, he has been suffering the worst kind of abuse, the worst kind of criticism. I mean, for a player who works relentlessly and tirelessly for the team, game in, game out, he gives everything that he's got. And to be honest, he should have had at least two assists in this game today, right? But the amount of work that he put in for this Welsh team today absolutely outstanding my man of the match is he was brilliant from the word go from minute one all the way to minute 90 he gave everything he had on that pitch and he was Wales he was he was the best player for Wales today he was the best player on the pitch by a country mile and do you know what this is what Dan James is all about this is what Dan James will give you. He will give you everything on the pitch. And that's exactly the kind of player that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer brought into Manchester United to play for United. But of course, this is not about Manchester United. This is about Turkey and Wales. And for Wales, James is an invaluable asset. And he will, do, he, he will just do them the world of good over the course of the competition. For Wales, I think this is their spot in the round of 16 sealed. I mean... They just need a point in the in the next game against Italy. But I think even if they lose the game against Italy, it wouldn't do them a lot of harm. I do I, I do still think that there are going to be they are going to be in the round of sixteen. There's no there's no way they're not making it to the round of sixteen, especially after today's performance. Uh yeah, for for Wales, a very good day. For Turkey, on the other hand, Turkey 
didn't show up. They have not lived up to the ex- to, to the expectations that everybody had of them. They have not lived up to the expe- expectations of what I definitely had of them. I expected them to perform a whole lot better. I expected them to be a whole lot better, but unfortunately, they haven't been. But you know, it's football. Sometimes, sometimes uh, these things happen. For Turkey, they will have a long, hard look at themselves. They know what they'll need to do against Switzerland. They'll need to go and give in a hell of a performance. They'll need to get a big, big result. Will they get it? It's uh, it, it, it's debatable. It's there for everyone to see. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. You know, like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And until next time, bye-bye.